I am super excited that your new WordPress website is ready to go live. If you remember, we have a temporary domain name pointing to the WordPress website and we'll need to fix that before going live with the website. I'm Laura from solopreneurmentor.com. I have 15 years experience building an online business from home called D3 Website Solutions. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to transfer your domain name from Wix to your WordPress hosting company, change the URLs in WordPress from the temporary domain name to your business domain name, and ensure that search engines can crawl your new website. After that, you can celebrate by letting everyone you know about your new website that you did yourself. Let's tackle your technology trouble together. This tutorial is intended for beginners. You can do it, I promise. For this video tutorial, you will need WordPress hosting to have installed WordPress, installed a WordPress theme, and created all of your content. If you're missing any of these steps, please look below this video for the resources to complete these steps first before proceeding. Before going live with your WordPress website, there's a few things you're going to want to do. Remember back when we set the settings to discourage uh, search engines. If we want to encourage them, we go back under settings and go back to reading. So uncheck discourage search engines or click save changes. We also want to make sure there's regular backups being made of the website. So what we're going to do is we're going to install a plugin by clicking on add new and we're going to install app updraft. And this is the one we want, not that one. Install now. And then you're going to click on activate. And then we're going to go under settings and go to app draft plus backups. I can't say it. And what you're going to do is you're going to create a backup schedule. And you can do that by going to um, sorry, settings and we're going to instead of choose manual, we're going to do uh, files backup weekly and database backup daily. Now it just depends on how often you're doing, you're making updates to your website. If you're only making updates to your website once a week, you don't need to do daily. Um, but keep in mind that if you have a lot of comments and stuff and those are happening daily, then you probably want to keep a database copy, a, a, a daily database copy. Um, files are all the files. So if you're in, if you're uploading images or you're installing plugins, themes, all those things fall under files. That's why weekly is usually pretty good for that sort of thing. And then you're going to want to choose how you're going to do a remote storage. I highly recommend you do remote storage. Google Drive would be a free option. Dropbox would be a free option. And those two would be a great place to put them. Um, you just would want to make sure that you go ahead and um, connect your Dropbox account or your Google Drive account. And Updraft has excellent documentation on how to do all that. And then you want to make sure you choose what you include in the backups. All the default stuff is usually pretty good. And if you want to receive an email when they're done. And then you'll click Save Changes. And then that will run weekly. Um, also, you could do a backup now just to make sure you have a fresh copy. It's really important that you keep a backup of your site. No one is going to keep a backup for you. It is your responsibility to do that. Now, if something happens, the host usually will have some sort of backup for you, but it's just better if you can keep a backup of yourself. And then anytime that there's a little button up here that says, oh, it's time to update your plugin or your theme file or something else or WordPress itself, then you can update with confidence that you have a backup should anything go wrong. Then you can go ahead and click restore and restore that backup. So keep a backup, do your backups, do not fail in that step. Now the other thing I would do, there's a ton of things I usually do for every WordPress site. However, I'm not going, I'm not going to do all of those. The one thing I will say is in a future video, I'm going to show how to connect Google Analytics along with Google's Search Console, um, which are both important tools for monitoring who's, who's on your website. And then also in a future video, I'm um, doing Yoast SEO um, because WordPress does not come out of the box with SEO necessarily. It is SEO friendly, but it's not 
Uh, it doesn't give you the ability to add meta tags and all that kind of stuff, which are important for websites. So um, now that we've done that, what we need to do is we need to point the domain name to um, the new server. However, I am on. I am working under the impression that Wix is currently uh, has the rights to this domain name. So what we need to do is transfer it out of Wix. And how we do that is we go under the domains where we were before, and you want to click on transfer away from Wix. And what's going to happen is they're going to say yes, okay, that's fine, but you you need to have access to this email address because we're going to send you a code that you need make sure that you can get to that email address. It's very important. That code, you cannot transfer your domain name unless you have that code. So you click on send code, they'll send a code to your email address. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that code and we're gonna go over to InMotion Hosting. And once you're logged into AMP through your InMotion Hosting account, you can actually go under domains and then go to domain transfers, or you can click on transfer domain here as well. With every hosting package that you sign up for, you get um, at least one free domain name. So you'll wanna make sure that you um, use that. Um, otherwise, you don't, you, you don't, um, you just paid for it and aren't using it. So what you wanna do is you want to go to begin transferring your domain, and they're gonna give you two options. The first option is a walkthrough. The second option is just to give them the authorization code. I do recommend that you go through the walkthrough unless you know what you're doing. So if you go through the walkthrough, what it's going to do is it's going to walk through a bunch of different steps asking you along the way um, different questions. So the first thing you're going to type in is your domain name. Um, and this is the domain name that you're transferring in. You're going to check availability and it's going to tell you yes, it's available for transferring over because you've already told Wix um, that you wanted to transfer it. Now, I've already started the walkthrough process, that's why it's telling me that I've already started it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue transferring to my, my domain, and I'm gonna go back to those steps that I was showing, that I wanna show you. So if I go back to step two, it's asking, is this, is this, uh, URL have domain privacy. So if I go back to Wix and I go under contact info, you can see private registration is turned off. If it's turned on, you're going to need to change that to turn it off in order to transfer it over. And then you'll check that box and, pl and click on the continue. And then what it's saying is, okay, your, your name servers are pointing to Wix. That's what these two are. And this is, name servers are very important. Um, they're the means of how the domain name is pointed to an IP address of the server. Complicated, but basically you need to know they're set to Wix. Now, InMotion Hosting is just checking, hey, do you want to keep it that way? And we don't. But the problem is that Wix does not offer us the ability to edit the name server. So we can't actually change the name server. So what we have to do is we actually have to transfer the domain name over to InMotion Hosting, and then we can change the um, name servers at that time. So for a while there, your website is still going to be pointing to um, it's still going to be pointing to Wix. So don't get rid of Wix yet. We're still going to need Wix probably for about three or four days. It takes a while to transfer a domain name. So we're going to go ahead and leave that as it is. And then we're going to go to uh, click next. You're going to confirm that you want to leave that and click continue. The other thing you want to make sure is that you keep a record of what the name servers are that you're going to need. So if you're on a shared hosting environment, this is the name server that you're going to need as, as well as the IP address that you're going to need to change this to later. So keep that in your records for later. And then you're going to retrieve your authorization code from the email that was sent to you. You're going to input it in here and then you're going to click continue and then you're going to continue through the form. I'm not going to continue through the form at this time and just check off all the boxes. So once that's done, they're going to notify you, hey, this transfer is going to go through. It's going to take three to four business days. You're going to get an email asking you to authorize this domain transfer. Go ahead and follow up on that and do the authorization of it. Um, and then within three to four days, the transfer should be complete. 
Once the transfer is complete, you're going to want to go through the next steps to change the domain name in your WordPress install and then to change the name servers. Before your website can go live, you need to change the URL that is pointing. So currently, because we wanted to keep our Wix website alive, we, need, we needed to create a different domain name because the Wix site was under blueskycounselingnc.com, so we changed that to wp.blueskycounselingnc.com. Now we wanna move back to blueskycounselingnc.com and get rid of the WP. How we do that is we go under plugins and click add new, and we're gonna do better search and replace. Come on. <laughs> All right, um, yeah, this one, this is the one you want. Um, go ahead and click install now and then activate. What you're going to go do now is go under tools and go better search replace. And we're gonna search for all instances of the domain name. And I don't usually put all this extra stuff in it, I just use the domain name. And we just wanna replace it with this portion. And what we wanna do is we wanna go, we wanna check everything, all the tables in the database. So I selected everything. And we want a case insensitive. And we want to replace that. And I'm going to run it as a dry run. It's always a good good idea to run first as a dry run. And then you're going to have to run it again with this unchecked in order for any changes to be made. So you're going to click on run search and search replace. It's going to tell you how many then are would be replaced. So it says 12 tables were searched, 40 cells were found that need to be updated. So then what I would do is I would go ahead and uncheck this, run it again, and then the database would be updated. What will happen then is you'll have this domain name instead of WP. So you will no longer be able to get to your website by going to wp.blueskycounselingnc.com. You would only be able to get there by going blueskycounselingnc.com. But that will only work once we change the name servers. So for a while there, you're not gonna be able to get to your WordPress website and you might be a little panicky, but don't worry. Um, you will be able to get to it once we actually make the updates and change the name servers. Okay, so now that we have InMotion hosting um, and it, the domain name has transferred, they've told you that, um, you're good to go. You just need to now change the name servers um, that are listed for your domain. Since I don't actually have a domain name that I've transferred over to um, InMotion Hosting at this time, I'm just going to show you the tutorial that InMotion Hosting gives you. So I googled AMP, how to change name servers, and I'm going to click on the first one that comes up. And if I scroll down, you can see that it tells you to go under domains and go to manage domains, and then select the domain you want to manage, and point your domain and then type in nsinmotionhosting.com and ns2inmotionhosting.com. And you can see that they've got those listed up here. And that's what you wanna do. Um, and then you just click submit and that's it. So once the name servers are pointed to InMotion Hosting and no longer to Wix, it will take 24 to 48 hours for that to be updated. Once that is updated, however, your new website should be showing up under your domain name. Once that happens, you can go ahead and delete Wix at that time because you no longer need Wix. The one last thing I'm going to mention is, it may be that you have a lot more information in these DNS records than um, this person does. If that is the case, I would make sure that you have all of these records copied over. InMotion Hosting would be happy to make sure that you know that, that you've got these records transferred over. For example, MX records are a big one. Those are what makes sure your email is, is um, working properly. So I highly recommend you use InMotion Hosting to make sure your MX records are transferred over correctly 
any other SPF records you might have. For example, if you use GetResponse or you use um, MailChimp, sometimes they give you SPF records so that your emails um, will be sent properly. You'll need to transfer those over as well. So get within Motion Hosting support, get them to help you make sure that those things are correctly done. And you can also ask them to help you with the name servers if you don't feel confident doing that. But again, like I said, once the domain name is transferred over to InMotion Hosting, you can manage that domain, set the name servers away from Wix to InMotion Hosting, and that will point directly to then your website uh, on InMotion Hosting, and you'll be done with Wix forever. And that's it. You finally have gone live with a WordPress website, and you see how easy it is to do. Um, and um, how fun it can be too. Um, drag and drop interfaces for some reason are so inspiring and fun to do. So I hope you had fun with this as well. We just tackled your technology trouble together and you have a new website. Thanks for watching this video and please be sure to check out the additional resources listed below this video and to share this video with others who need technology help too. You now have completed all the steps to moving your website from Wix to WordPress. Thanks for joining me as I showed you how easy it is to use WordPress to create a website. Please visit solopreneurmentor.com for more tips, tricks, and tutorials on how to use technology to make you more productive in building your business from home.